Hi guys and ladies, I found a fish recipe online that really grabs me. It has a Greek spin on it. Well, I love Greek cuisine, and I think we might be able to pull the recipe off using the small bass that we need to cull from this lake, or so say the biologists. So let's get culling. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. Let's start out with this. This is a two and three quarter inch finesse TRD from Z-Man Fishing. Well, it looks like a, a little nothing. Let's face it, it's just a stick of plastic, but it's almost indestructible and it's caught fish for me before. So maybe we can get enough bass for dinner with it. Uh, I'll list all the equipment and lots of info about the lake in the notes below. Let's go. It's terrible out here today. It's freezing cold, it's rainy, and it's windy. But I'm determined to catch fish. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> I didn't think I had any hope of catching a fish today. This bass is just over 12 inches, close enough. I'm going to keep her. Him? I don't know. Ridiculous. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm keeping them 12 and a half inches. I need fish, I've been out here for hours and it's freezing. Mm -hmm. We won't hurt the lake. Not bad. I'll take them. We need fish for this recipe. <clears throat> oh, it's been one of these days. I just, I've been out here so long. I'm going to throw them back. My fingers are numb. It's windy and it's drizzling. It's just the cold just goes right through you. I think I'll go in the house and call it a day. Okay, what I've got here plus what I have in the freezer ought to be enough for this recipe. Let's get in the house, fillet the fish and warm up. It's freezing out here. It's too bad that yesterday was such an ugly day for fishing, but I got 11 ounces of nice bass fillets here. And looky here, <laughs> I've had these bass fillets saved in the freezer for just such a rainy day. So now I have a pound and a half of fish to work with, and I'm eager to get started to Greekify them. Ah, but first, let's make a little side to go with it. So first I'm gonna peel these Greek cucumbers. All right. 
maybe English. Now I'm trying to cube these. Here I'm chopping up one quart of grape tomatoes. Here's our tomatoes, cucumbers, onions. My hands are clean. One quarter cup of olive oil. I got this new gadget. I'm dying to try it, so I'll put this lemon in there. Whoa! It works great! Oh, that a way to go, Amazon. Here I've got two teaspoons of dried oregano. How could you have Greek food with no garlic? Let's add about a teaspoon and a half of this minced garlic. Okay, let's pour it over there. This is just guesswork, but you gotta have salt and pepper. What, this is not Greek enough for you? All right, then we'll add a half cup of this crumbly feta cheese. Still not Greek enough for you? Okay. Then let's add these marinated olives, Kalamata olives, and one is on the floor. If you don't like olives, just eat around them. There's enough here for the Greek army. Oh my goodness, I've been eating this salad. This is wonderful. You know, you get a, the saltiness from the olives and, and, and the juiciness from the, the tomatoes and the taste and the cucumbers so fresh and then it's offset by that feta cheese. Ooh, the savoriness of feta cheese. This is wonderful. Try this. Oh, let's get on with that fish recipe. I've got a package of frozen spinach that I cooked up and I need to drain it well. Now I'm dumping in three quarter, well, a whole cup, a whole cup of feta cheese. Again, this wasn't in the recipe. Let's add a couple teaspoons of this minced garlic. How could you not have garlic in a Greek dish? Here's about a tablespoon of oregano, tablespoon and a half maybe. Here I've got three tablespoons of melted butter. Here I have about four stalks of green onions also known as spring onions or scallions. Let's add a half teaspoon of salt. That should be enough. I don't know how much pepper, just eyeball it till it looks good. I'm on a low carb diet. I can do this. I'm adding a couple more tablespoons of melted butter. I want this mixture wetter. I've got two casserole dishes here. I'm just going to spray them with this butter spray. This is not even in the recipe. I'm supposed to use salt and pepper, but look, I've got lemon pepper and the first ingredient is salt. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to just sprinkle one side because these fillets are so small and thin. I've come to the conclusion that I have to use my hands. I can't use a tool for this. So I'm going to take some of this uh, mixture and I'm going to spread it on each fillet sort of evenly, you know? Look, I'm done. I've got it all covered with the spinach feta mixture. I'm so excited. Now I'm going to just set the oven to 350. Well, here we go. I'm putting our fillets in for 10 minutes. Let's see how that works. While our fish is roasting away in the oven, I'm happy to tell you that I have a special guest coming over for dinner tonight. None other than the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. You know, I think I figured out why she seems reluctant to marry me even after 50 years of seeing each other. I think I'm too down on myself. I need to be more proud of myself. I think she'd love me if I just, you know, showed her some swagger. It's been 10 minutes. Let's get our fish out. Yes. Doesn't that look good? Oh my goodness. It smells so fragrant. Little garlic, you know. Oh my goodness. I'm going to try a little of our fish before my special guest arrives. Hmm lemony, buttery, 
feta cheese. A lot going on and the fish is seasoned perfectly. Oh, I know you would love this. Really? Oh, try it, please. Mm. Well, here we are again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thank you so much for stopping by my low budget lodgings. And uh, you had a chance to partake of my uh, Greek cucumber salad with tomatoes and feta. What did you think? It was very good, very refreshing, and I even enjoyed the olives, which is quite yeah. saying something for they me. They were marinated yes, kalamata. Yes, excellent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kalamata. Yes. Yeah, right. And then you had a chance to uh, enjoy or <clears throat> My Greek, uh, Greekified fish. Yes. What did yes. you think of those yeah. uh, little bass? The span, the spinach and the feta were just a wonderful combination with the it fish. Did. It worked. Thank you. It yes. did work really Very well. Miss Cheeks. Oh, I can call you uh, Lulu now. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I know there are things about me you admire, <clears throat> and I'm wondering, would it be my rugged chin, <laughs> uh, my sharp intellect? Or maybe my gourmet cooking. Uh, your sense of humor. Huh? No. Can I have a hug?